Well, yummy babes, I'm downstairs in the basement. And as you can see, I have a lot to do down here. We cleaned out. Now, many of you have seen my little baby, Arnie. That's Arnie. Look at Arnie. That's Arnie. So you know her. She's a lovely girl, you see. So, this is kind of like the office library down here. I have lots of games, lots of books, stuff I've displaced. In here, you'll see my other downstairs pantry. I have about three pantries. That's right, a lot. <laughs> and I know you won't believe this, but I really did clean this up and clean it out, you know? But it kind of doesn't look like it because we got like the Costco order and I haven't organized it. But this is some of my overflow, you know, some of my storage dishes and different things that I use for celebrations and what have you. And you know, when COVID happened, you had to buy all this stuff. <laughs> As you can see, I got masks and everything that I got from WB Mason. You know, that's my supplier. I redo some of the wood tables and things in here and take care of the banisters with this Murphy soap. And in here, I have a lot of overflow. So, something happens, it goes all the way down, canned goods, milk, different things. You have to keep that. I don't have a lot of it, a lot of it. I'm not like really a prepper, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, these are other things that I use uh, for like you know uh, cooking and decorating cookies cakes I got those right there so they can pick that up going out the door this is celebratory stuff this these are uh, hand sanitizers that kind of along over here <laughs> so they get a handful of that and take a fistful of it take it with them and you can see stuff I use for decorating cakes things I use for uh, marinating my meat you know, I have some other stuff up here, for like marinating turkeys and all this decorative stuff that I use when I'm having parties. So, um, some of my tools that I use for re redoing furniture over there and uh, excess equipment for cooking. And, of course, you got to have good old, good old, good old top ramen. You got to have that. You know, you can't not have top ramen in your house. <laughs> I don't know who you are. If you are, if you don't have any, because you never know. I've got beans down there and everything like that. Household replacement uh, soap and everything these kids like to eat, you know. So, as you can see, I've got a lot to do. And let's hope it'll be fun doing it. And I'm showing you my behind the scenes. Oh, my God, stuff. <laughs> All of our uh, degrees, you know, that I was telling you about. I don't really want you to see the name on it. Because that's my kids are not in this. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wish me luck. Okay, yummy babes. Uh, we're here in Dallas, here in Washington, D.C. over at Echo Your Mom. And they have a lot of Easter. I mean, just so much stuff that you can have really choose from. Lots of eggs, lots of baskets, and lots of little things to go on your front door. I want to get one of these so I can put on my front door. And they're at very reasonable prices. So you can see all down here, all down, all, you can see all down here, you can see they've got bunnies, they've got all kinds of stuff and plaques that you can put on your door to make your house look very festive. Look at this. <laughs> that 
It's cute. Look at that. That must be like a dollar or a dollar twenty-five. Cause it's got most of this stuff doesn't have any prices. And so maybe they're sticking pretty close to whatever it would be. Let me see if I can find a price on this one. Nope. No prices. Okay, so I didn't catch it at first, but I mean, this Dollar Tree is holding two to what it's supposed to be doing. Everything is a dollar twenty-five, and you're not gonna find uh, any tags on anything unless they're not sticking with that. But these are porcelain bowls at a dollar twenty-five, and they're kind of really cute. And I think they're doing a blue theme kind of for Easter. So, and there's your dollar twenty-five sign, and this is so cute. We've got Home Sweet Home. And of course, that's a good old fashioned color, that green. Oh, and it's also uh, either clay or porcelain. All these um, things are porcelain, which I find to be quite attractive because I like stuff like that. Here are you some little spring cups. And that's in this type of, they're trying to emulate some old style dishes here. Yeah. Right here in Hecka Jamal. Now, here's some different things that you can get in here to really make some good arrangements. And of course, you want to be able to do that because it's Easter. Mm hmm. Yeah. Of course, again, you know, everything's $1.25.
Got really that I had filmed down here already when it was a total mess and I did not I forgot about it and I did go ahead and get this together <laughs> and I got it all back together didn't film you know me getting it all back together so I'm coming down here showing you the kind of we're almost finished we still got some things we got to do this is a little segment over here that's not finished. Okay. And you could probably see that I got quite a mess over here. This is all the game night stuff. Let me see. Yeah. This is all the game night stuff. And that's my little baby. This is my little baby. 
This is my... Oh, hi, Mom. Are you filming? Yeah. How was school? I was good. Okay. Let me say this. Now, this little section here is very interesting because I bought some little shelves for my daughter. And we were supposed to put them on the wall, I was thinking. But she put them behind here and, and let that... And so she could make a double thing. Now, here... These are the first, the books here. And behind there, she's got the other books sitting up on the shelves that I bought her. So I thought that was pretty clever and pretty cute. And we moved this girl over here. She really loves being over here. And of course, we got everybody's favorite president. Some packages for the, for the turtle. We got some new stuff for her. But she's so spoiled. This thing is 20 years old. I think I bought this for Zena when she was um, like 11. And it still rings and does all the little animated stuff that it does 20, 20 years ago. The same thing over here, you can see in the back over there, those things are sitting on a shelf. So that's an idea for you where you have all these little short books and you don't know what to do with them. You can kind of raise them up in the back and sit them on a shelf and create a little more room. But I want to apologize to you because... Is my baby. Look at my baby. <laughs> Look at my baby. Yeah, I didn't show you. This is some stuff that we still have to do, but because we're cleaning out the closet and just like everybody else, getting ready for a little spring cleaning and what have you. And um, we'll get to that. I'm not going to do everything at once because sometimes it just doesn't work that way. And here, <laughs> the last time you saw this, it was not looking like this, so... Uh, yeah. We got, like, stuff. You know. It's still not that great, because some of this stuff, I don't know. But, <clears throat> it's pretty organized for now. And that's what we're going to keep it this way. So we can get in here and get stuff. So that's what's so important. For us to be able to get in here and get stuff. And that's some... These are my little so-called backup supplies <laughs> stuff i keep you know in here mm -hmm. for you know you never know they eat it though my kids eat all this stuff and this is my water supply <laughs> when the guy making a joke talking about you know we keep water and some of it's so dusty but we actually drink our water and these are really things that you can make something quick out of and that's you always got to have a backup pantry. You can't play with that. You never know what might happen. These are all my cooking things. You know. Stuff that I don't use all the time. So, yeah. And yeah, stuff up there. Juicer. You know, supplies. You know, I got them ready for. <laughs> if there's any more comings of this, you know. Panoramic. I'm ready. This is the kind of cute stuff I use for holidays. And this is my important stuff that I marinate. These are my marinating tools. I've got another really big one up there I can put a turkey in and marinate it. And this is my baking stuff. And this is a quick touch for, you know, mask and um, hand sanitizer, you know. And generally, when we're not having a pandemic, I give a lot of parties, so I need all this stuff. And I use all of it, you know, so know that and believe it. I make big pots of this and that, and I got big pots up top, you know. So, I hope that, you know, that helps so you can see that I finally did get this place together. I got to get another television for over there because they want to, you know, they want something else. And this their little game, and they want something they can play the games on. I gave the other television away, and it was <laughs> they went along with me, but that thing was good for playing games, you know what I mean? They could play games, so I gotta get another game. And you know, sometimes my son works from home, and this is his little setup. This is really his little office, but okay, I did come back and let you know that I, I'm almost done. And I guess when I get it completely finished, I'll come back. Say hi, Arnie. Say bye, Arnie. Okay, guys. Okay, today is, I think, March 23rd. And I forgot. 
I'm doing a little chores, folding up some towels and things that I wash. And I forgot that I had a, um, that we went to, um, Dollar Tree. And I had a little haul. Okay. So, I'm kind of in my, I'm not all dressed up of any sort. I don't know. I'm kind of in my um, <laughs> bedroom just lounging around. So, I thought I would go ahead and do this because I've forgotten a couple of things here that you're going to see in this blog that I meant to follow through and let you see in lapse time. Me getting together the basement and I forgot about it. But I'm not really finished with it anyway, so we'll try that we'll try that again. But I'm gonna go ahead and do this little haul I have. Of course, these are some books that I got from Amazon that are teaching me some basics of things because I don't think I'm ready for uh some of the stuff that I need to get done. I don't know why it's showing up like that. Is that better? Yeah. Photo basics. This is a big one for me here. Uh, patent, copyright, and trademark. This is something you definitely, definitely, definitely want to be able to do and know about if you're going to try to make it, this thing a business you know, that we're trying to do on all this social media. This is something we got from our um, um, Dollar Tree. We got this little thing we're going to put on a on the front door. I'm, I'll try to remember to show you too when I do. I haven't quite got the hang of, you know, recording everything that I do. So, and this one says, Happy Easter. Happy Easter. And, um, there's Easter. Happy Easter. And we have these to put up because we need something. Spring's hitting. And those are so cute. We got the little uh, pot holders. We got two with this one. Blue and white. And we got the little, you know, the little glove one. And we got two towels that are going to go on the front of the stove. Of course. And I got two things from Dossier. Uh, two, um, so I can get them out for you. Okay. Let me see if I can get this where you can see it. Okay, there we go. So, this one is uh, Woody Tobacco. Woody Tobacco. And the notes on it are the top note is lemon, pink, pepper, neroli. Uh, the middle note is rum, dry fruits, and uh, blonde woods. Uh, the base notes are Styrax tobacco leaves and Vanilla. And I'm going to get the bottle. Here we go. And that is from Dossier. Is it Dossier or Dossier? I think it's Dossier in French. Uh, yeah. And this is supposed to be inspired by. Supposed to be inspired by. Uh, oh. Meso Modella. Replica, replica Jazz Club Eau de Toilette. It's a Eau de Toilette. It is not a Eau de Parfum. So, it doesn't have as much oil in it as the um, Eau de uh, Parfum. And so, Toilette means cologne. And cologne is usually something uh, for men. But I'm thinking that's, that um, this one is made for women. So, I love Maison Marjala because, you know, whenever I wear that scent, when I, you know, people are asking me, what am I wearing? And I love that. So, this is Ambery Cedarwood. And the notes are Mandarin, Mandarin, I'm sorry, Mandarin, Cardamom, Orange Blossom. Uh, middle notes are Jasmine. Uh, Sambayo, or is that Sambak? Sambak? Let me look at that. Cause I can't. Hmm. It looks like Sambayo or Sambak. Uh, you pick. 
uh, cedar wood, base notes, heliotrope flower, amber, and vanilla. Heliotrope, I'm sorry. Helio, heliotrope flower, amber, and vanilla. You know, it's a funny thing because that was like a big word that people were using heliotrope for a long time to name their businesses. And when I was out there, I was trying to figure out what was what's the big deal about that. Okay, so this is inspired by Theory Mugler, Alien ou de Parfum. Uh, so it's oh, it has a concentration of eighteen percent. What the other one have? Eighteen percent. That is really good. That has eighteen percent oil, perfume oil in it, and that's pretty high. Um. And so, I'm going to get it out for you and let you see it and you buy some of it and find out if it smells good to you. Because it doesn't matter if it smells good to me because I'm figuring it's going to smell good to me because I bought it. <laughs> so, there it is. Let me take it off and take a good little sniff of it. Mm. It smells... It smells... Let me see. It smells a little manly. Yes, man. You can smell the tobacco in it and everything, you know. It's a little heavy. But it smells good. I like it so far, but I'm, I think it has... I'm going to tell you something. That sometimes you have to uh, let this stuff sit for a while because some, I don't know what happens the concentration or just sitting on the shelf or what I'm waiting and it sometimes separate and it makes you know needs to warm up in your house and so you need to keep it in not a hot place but a kind of even temperature place so they can try to come back and mix if it doesn't do that if it doesn't come back and mix then it just is what it is you see so this one is Ambery Cedarwood. And it's by Mugler. You know, so if you like Mugler, then try it. And this is one last thing for Dollar Tree that I got, which was a little bin for just storage. A little white bin. They even stacked together, you know, like little cubicles. And some of you probably recognize that. And that is that. So, okay. I just wanted to make sure I got that in and we didn't forget. So this is what I got a couple, for a couple of days of this week. And it is a couple of days because I'm always getting some kind of package. So if I get anything else, I'll be back. <laughs>